My name is Decap, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I produced Louder by Locksmith in FL Studio and Ableton Live. I'm the Persian and black version of rap Nat Turner. I crack sternums and put rappers in a gurney. In fact, burn them, I trap trappers and read them. They rap backwards and tell them to practice until they worthy. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Beat, where I take you behind the beat of tracks that I produce. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I produce Louder by Locksmith and FL Studio and Ableton Live. If this content is helpful for you, be sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when I drop new content. Let's get into the session. So Locksmith was at my studio and he already had this verse to another one of my tracks. We were thinking we wanted to update the track, so I was messing around with some beats while he was here. I ended up downloading a sample on Splice um, by my homie Graves. Shout out to Graves. And this is the sample that I was messing with for this beat. So I took that sample, I, I either pitched it or ran it through gross beat. I, I don't know since it's consolidated here, but this is what it sounded like after I messed with it. So then after I got the sample to sound like that, I thought I'd add some drums on top of it. So this is what it sounded like with the drum pattern I added. So the drums are real simple on the track, but I wanted to do, you know, little rolls and, and uh, pitch the sounds individually just to give it more flavor. So throughout the track, I actually changed the drum pattern pretty constantly um, just to keep it flowing and keep it sounding unique. If you look here at my channel rack, uh, I'm going to click on the snare pattern and bring it up in the piano roll. If you look at the snare in the piano roll, you can see that I have some at a constant pitch and I have others that go up and down in pitch just to give it some variation. Uh, the kick track is pretty simple. Um, everything pretty much stays on C. And then for the hi-hat, most of them are on C and I have um, some of them rolling up at higher pitches just to give it more variation. So after I had the drums, I added the 808, which sounds like this. So for the 808, there's a lot of variation. I really used a lot of glides to give it the flavor. Um, and to get that glide sound, what I did was I, so for example, the first note is a C. So it, go, it rolls down to C and then down to the next octave down C and then up uh, two octaves to another C note. Uh, and the way I did that was with these little glide notes. Um, an FL. So throughout the track I have the 808 glides going just to give it more variation because the beat is so simple really but there's so many different glides and rolls uh, just to give it character. Other than that I added a symbol into the session uh, just to hit on the one and in the beginning I have a reverse symbol um, going into the main symbol so let's hear what that sounds like. And then also in the intro, I just did a real simple um, snare roll um, on a separate pattern. So after I had that basic beat idea, I mixed it down and I threw it into Ableton. And Locksmith was here, so we cut the vocals on the spot right in Ableton. So let's get into this and I'll show you what I did here. So as you can see in Ableton, I literally just dragged the beat right in the first track. And then I made a separate group for Locksmith's lead vocal. 
And then I have two groups of uh, ad libs and different things. So this is what the vocal sounds like dry. I'm the Persian and black version of rap Nat Turner. I crack sternums and put rappers in a gurney. In fact, burn them, I trap trappers and read them. They rap backwards and tell them to practice until they worthy. So we recorded that on an Antelope Audio Edge mic, which is super dope. This is actually the first track I got to use experimenting with the Edge mic. Um, and then after the, or I'll show you what effects I added on it. So the mic is a stereo mic, so I made it mono with a utility, and then I routed it to Antelope Audio's AFX, which I'll show you what I did here. So this is the Antelope Audio panel. Um, these are built-in effects on the DSP of my Zentor interface, and I added an EQ um, where I did a high pass, and then I added a Lang EQ, um, where I did a, a high frequency boost at about 10. Then I, I added the VCA 160 and I did some aggressive compression on it just to give it some grit. Um, and then I have another EQ after that in the chain where I did another high pass. And then I did some taming of the high frequencies again at 10K with the Lang. I find that when I drive the high end with a Lang, run it through some compression and different effects and then tame the high end. It gives me kind of a cool effect, a real compressed high end sound. So, um, so that's pretty much it for the AFX. Then I added some multiband dynamics um, and I just compressed, uh, it looks like I compressed pretty much the high and the low end. Then I added some Ableton convolution reverb onto it. And this is everything all together. I'm the Persian and black version of rap Nat Turn. I crack sternums and put rappers in a gurney. In fact, burn them, I trap trappers and read them. They rap backwards and tell them to practice until they worthy. Taking your comments personal, unmerciful. When I converse through verse, your words just flow me. One of the few survivors, count money. Your favorite rappers are Uber driver. They selling you stories. Never to diss a man, but how do I live in this? Is That's pretty much it. That's how I produced Locksmith's track Louder in FL Studio in Ableton. If this content is helpful for you, be sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, and click the bell to be notified on future videos. Leave a comment and let me know what was helpful about this video or what you want to see in future videos. And if you want your drums to hit harder, make sure you pick up Drums That Knock, my drum kit series. The link's in the description. You can get it right at drumsthatknock.com and it's also available on Splice. For the drums in this beat, I used Drums That Knock Volume 3, Drums at Knock Volume 5, and Drums at Knock Volume 6. And you can get them at drumsatknock.com or on Splice. Until next time, my name is Decap, and this is another episode of Behind the Beat. Peace. That works. I'm the Persian and black version of rap Nat Turn. I crack sternums and put rappers in a gurney. In fact, burn them, I trap trappers and read them. They rap backwards and tell them to practice until they worthy. Taking your